bump, bump, bump. Hey, what happened? You supposed to come? There you go. Mm, 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 mm. Look at Paul. She's like a mad scientist behind the glass. <laughs> <laughs> it is Monday morning, oh, but just oh, it's the all new rollout show back in the cubby hole. Back at the <laughs> Morris the Media. Bunker. He called uh, the LA Sentinel conference room a cubby hole. Where are you getting In front this? of them. Are you claustrophobic? What's your problem? Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> we are back, bitches. Yes. Out of the heat. Yes. A long weekend. Nick. Long. 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 weekend was longer than mine. I, like, I, don't give a fuck. I heard y'all was <laughs> losing it on the way back. What? Walking back from a... Uh, oh, Pam was like, I ain't gonna make <laughs> it. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Thank, I'm sorry. Fix your mic. Fix your yeah, mic. Pam. <laughs> yeah, I heard Pam uh, shut down. Damn near. Why you yeah. took your medication? Hilarious. <laughs> what is there for? Where would you shut? Don't you got to shut down medication? Shut down. No, I don't. Shut down. Uh, bring back yeah. upper. I yeah. needed an upper. You got a Benny. You got a Benny or a Jet? Huh? You know, a Benny. Hilarious. Up and down. Benny and Jets are up and down. Hey man. Old school motherfuckers. It was a long walk. It was. A, it was the longest short walk ever. I know. That's what I say. It couldn't have been that far. Was like damn, we walking forever. Oh, here go the car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys eat anymore after I left? Yep. Yeah, we went back to the, uh, back VIP, to the VIP tent. Booth. Yeah, some. we went to backstage where um, Mint Condition was about to perform. And they mm-hmm. gave away Buffalo Wild Wings chicken wraps. I ate oh, too much. Oh, shit. Good and I, terrible. I got sick of that. Did you? Day. Yeah. Oh, you was? Yeah, I was. What'd you throw up? Another Felicia? <laughs> 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 For those who did come hang out with us, we did have a lot of fans that walked by. I love y'all. The taste of soul. Yeah, people trying to steal our water bottles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody stole our chairs. You mean somebody's trying to steal those things? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Pam. Hey, hey, we're hey. supposed to be giving those away. Don't be laughing at the arts. Uh, Speedy had us doing arts and crafts at the beginning of the day. Right. I got these water bottles. Speedy's got these hella labels. bossy. Y'all the bossy think, as shit. Oh y'all God. think I am. Man, hey. No. Speedy do this shit. Like, he think everybody is kid? I'm like, nigga, are you having a seizure and in your pointing fingers? like, yeah. yeah. Use your words, nigga. What you want? And you did tell him that, I too. I did. You it was ridiculous. Use your we words, all got man. To, like, I ain't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to bring that <laughs> over here, pimp. <laughs> it's, it is called Speedy and Friends. Well, uh, yeah, but that don't mean you're going to boss anybody <laughs> you're gonna, around. Right. You're going to lose some friends if you don't use your words, nigga. Oh, I know that's right. Tell him. <laughs> Nikki Pam, I seen, I seen Nikki Pam in rare, rare form. form. He was just on me. She I was said, like, "Nigga." She said, "Let Speedy say one more thing to me." <laughs> she sure and did. then the smart ass said, well, "At least I got one more thing to say." I was like, "Fuck you." Yeah, did have one more to say? I didn't. I didn't use that. <laughs> Might have needed you for some shit. Yeah, y'all had never yeah. seen me snap before, huh? Yeah, nah, not on Speedy. Why you snap? Why you even raise your voice at me? Because you, you was, was bossy, bossy as shit. That's what I do. I hey, run shit. All I need to know, you don't run Hilarious. shit. Hilarious. Th- thank you, Kente. <laughs> thank you very much. I don't appreciate you I'm reading. I'm glad I didn't have to say it this time. <laughs> I don't appreciate you reading from the same cue card she got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many of them damn shirts you sell out there in Oceanside, though? Well, well here's the thing. Oh, no. no, I, need, no I need a number, Nick. I need a let number. Me, let me get it. Because you on. took a gaggle out there. I was like, leave some in the car. I got to take them all. Well, because what happened was when I went to Phoenix, I didn't take a gaggle. I only took a giggle. And I ran out of a giggle when I should have took a gaggle. I took a gaggle. I should have took a giggle. That's what I told you. You're going to <laughs> I didn't want to take that You're chance. Right I can't take that chance. Hey. But they did buy them at the end. They bought seven. They bought <laughs> hoodies and they all, t-shirts all I have is three X's and, and girls. Yeah. I yeah. had girls, large, and guys three X's. <laughs> he was out there tasting so trying to sell dudes. I, I was trying to convince the dude, no, nah, homie, what you do? Tied in a knot. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, man, all my chest hairs is out right here. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the three X's got a little skinny nigga. Hey, you got a t-shirt? Got a three X. Uh, like if shit. this was ninety seven, I, I said, "Hey, brother, it could be a pillowcase." He was trying to get—he <laughs> was trying to get RT in the little female one. Yeah, RT wouldn't have. Yeah, RT. Huh? Was not, now with his Republican yeah. swoop over, he was not wearing it. Oh, I didn't to, tell RT to wear. I, I thought you should. I thought he, he I thought I gave him. He said he never had a shirt. It's in he there. Never. You have sizes in there. Yeah, but what's that going to help us at Outside. the Taste of Salt? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, we ain't there now. What the fuck is I'm on? talking about. Don't well, check, check. Don't okay, check me. Never mind. Yeah, you better never mind. Yeah, Put see that. Tar- see, I get you. Motherfucker, put the what? Tarred and <laughs> now, what does that say about the people who have mental illness? That they're uh. smarter than you. <laughs> <laughs> that you are king retard. King retard. That's an incorrect word to be used in poetry. No, not for you. Retard is I'm the not talking word. about nobody no, but no, you. It's retard. No, it's no, it's not. It's <laughs> mentally challenged. Oh, get out of here. Don't try and get all had him on your side. Like he's gonna be the Special Olympics carrying the torch. Well, 
<laughs> blowing it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we had a great time. Um, hey. I had to drive all the way to fucking Oceanside mm. and then drive home. Did you get in t- get there on time? Got there at six thirty. Left at four. Th- well, yeah, got there at six thirty. Got four fifteen. Yeah. yeah, I was flying through traffic. Plus, I took the diamond. Damn, lane. Pam, how you know exactly what time? We, left. <laughs> we had us rushing. Know. Oh, you said you left. He left at four fifty. Uh huh. What do you think I said? Uh, he arrived. I was like, "How you? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> He left at four fifty. And shout out to all the people who uh, listened to the show who were there at mm-hmm. the show. Destroy. So did uh, brother Smokey from Atlanta. Smokey D's don't play. Like light skin brother. Yeah, yeah. He was funny as fuck. He, he ripped. Uh, there was another guy from Compton named um, Barrett or something Wiley. Brett Wiley. He's young. He's a young guy. Oh, okay. the game. oh Brandon Wiley. Brandon Wiley. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then Nate Jackson ripped. Oh, yeah. Nate Nate's play. whole show was, he was killing all the bitches. That's how he do. He sound like like a lot of the Chicago comics mm. bash women. Detroit comics, too. But yeah. I'll say more of the Detroit comics. Mm-hmm. Where is D-Ray from? Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, that, yeah, that's Nate true. Jackson's Corey. set. His whole set, not saying anything was wrong. He just, his whole set was women ain't shit pretty much. <laughs> you bitches ain't yeah. shit. Yeah. And so it was the whole, not some of it, it was the whole set he destroyed, but bitches ain't shit. I, I always found, I can't do that because women make up a 70% comedy club. of the audience. Yeah, 70, m- might even be 80. Yeah. And then there's uh, the other 15 are with their girl. The dudes is with yeah. their girl. Yeah, and they're like, hey man, come on, and, man. And there's a couple dudes came by themselves. So I, I could never do my stand up where I'm just saying bitches yeah. ain't shit, fuck bitches, bitches ain't shit. It was funny shit. Right, right. Nigga, it was he did he did one thing about this girl foot was or she needed to get a pedicure, it looked like she used to pick cotton. Hilarious. He went, Lord Jesus and he was slamming his foot <laughs> on the table. <laughs> oh, it was funny as fuck. So it ain't real. Everybody it's just when I see these kind of shows and like with one we did in Oakland, uh-huh. and I'm like, man, if I could just find somebody out there that would sponsor it ain't got to. We ain't got to be kings of comedy, but we could go and hit those small markets, do comedy clubs, yeah. and, and there's there's a ray of comedians that's right below about to blow up who are mad funny, mm-hmm. yep. who who yep. the country just don't know because they don't get a chance well, to get know, out there. Yeah, and they did the the kings of comedy. I was watching the Bernie Mac unsung, uh, and the first one they did, you know, they had Guy T in there yeah, instead of DL, out. but they went to like sixty uh, cities. On their own. Yeah. You know, they had like one sponsor. Yeah. But they were going to the city like, we're going to Kings of Comedy. They'd sell out. And that's what made the one where Spike but, Lee but, jumped on But board. the key word to that is they had one sponsor. Oh, yeah. You, you only need one. one. You got to get just one. trying to find the one. Yeah. And, and, I, and I see so many talented brothers who just need that opportunity. Yep. And, and hopefully somebody's out there listening that uh, would want to jump aboard and let's let's take it on the road, man. Yeah, they got an uncle that got some money and ain't doing nothing with it. Yeah. Oh, don't be a nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I got to recycle. I got a, but what's it called? I, I got to get you down there. I got to loan in my cash. I'm going to try to get you hooked on because my man, they do the shows down there once a month or, or every two months. Okay. So And it's the core group out of... Uh, San Diego, so shout out to the core group. Yeah. Two brothers, uh, my man uh, Michael and um, and Bishop, so they Bishop. make it happen. But they had the oldest security guard in the world. I did <laughs> 45 minutes on this nigga. He was older than Otis from uh, yeah. Martin? I said, yeah, <laughs> he was him. I said, wait a minute, top flight security? And so I just clowned him, and his other boy had a ponytail, and it was oh, great. No. I a said, great ponytail? A great oh, ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> I said, so I did like a whole. I said, you, them the kind of dudes that they always want to tell you shit to happen and that, that they was there when it happened. Yeah. Nigga, it was me, Joe Lewis, uh, 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 Ricky Ricardo, and Jesus. We were all there, <laughs> nigga. I was there. So I did that like eight times. By right. the time I got to the ninth one, I said it was me, and the audience took over. <laughs> Joe Lewis, Ricky Ricardo, and Jesus. That's hilarious. So it it, it was, was it was show. a great time. Yeah, it was a, it was a dope show. So you get a chance, man. Come see me on the road. I'm the funniest motherfucker you ever gonna meet. <laughs> Until you meet more people. That's all I'm saying. They ain't met nobody. They ain't exactly. Met so was that your intro? Because we never said who we were. It's the funniest movie. Because it's always about speaking. <laughs> always. It is always it is about the whole me. Tim. Why would it not be about me? <laughs> Why would it be about anybody else? Why let's just, it be? Let's just be real. Why would it be about anybody else? It's speeding. Don't I'm the funniest motherfucker you ever gonna I'm be. about to just uh, I'm about, I want to pour yeah. coffee all over my concert <laughs> board right now. I just want to destroy speaking shit. Of, I'm going short circuit. So shit. speaking of Porter's good coffee drinking ass kept putting her coffee cup by her computer. 
So needless well, to my wife adjusting yeah. shit. And look here. And she did kind of push not, the table kinda, a little bit. Not kind of. She pushed She <laughs> broke the motherfucking table down. Now, the front well, of the table legs <laughs> broke down like a camel. Well, like, oh, nigga, we quit. It wasn't locked in. <laughs> yeah. So when I looked down, I said, it's just the computer. And I see the coffee cup in the car. And I, my initial, I apologize. I did that because she got mad at me. Yeah. I said, what, what? Why in the fuck would you put your coffee by your by she your said, on the table? She said, oh, well, "Where else would I put it?" You said on the table. He said, hey, "Why look. would you put your coffee, coffee on, on the, the table? table?" Look, and I looked at your wife. That's why they call it a coffee <laughs> yeah, table. Yeah, yeah but it was by your That's computer. Where it's it was on another. No, it wasn't. No, it, it was, was on that table. Hey, motherfucker! It was perfectly okay before, before Mrs. Stoke Caldwell. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> hey, look here. All I know is I was like, yeah, Johnny, Jonathan got that breaking shit on us. <laughs> right. His mama broke shit and did the yeah, same face. She had the same face like Jonathan. She was like, so you just so that. just so you know, it wasn't me. So hour later, little Miss uh, Dumble Fumbles <laughs> knock over her coffee onto the computer. Again. She said, oh, oh Jesus, God. shit. She said, I'm putting this motherfucker up. I ain't. <laughs> But then you went but, back and got a third cup again. again no, I, I I spilled my drink. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sorry. I tried to call it. I tried to, I tried to save you. you spilled your Mexican coffee. This was coffee after on it. coffee. Yeah. This was after, dude. It this was. But the first time the coffee fell, did fall into my computer, and by and the grace of was God, done. she was like, she was like, because oh, this is a new MacBook. And Pro, she turned the and motherfucker on, like, yeah. and the Apple was going. Eat, uh. Yeah. Hey, everybody got quiet though. I was like, I said, uh-huh. let's put hands and pray <laughs> over the laptop. Sweetie kept trying to come up with some old jury rigging ass, but that uh, shit worked. Hey, get get some rice. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go across the street and get some rice. He said, pour the rice on. I'm like, you gotta put the rice in a a bowl of. Ri- you gotta put the computer in a, in a vat of rice because mm-hmm. the rice what? gotta suck up. You a gotta vat. put it like you, it works with phone. We never heard of that. A vat of rice. Like a that's trough. V-A-T. Like a, trough. Yeah, a vat. A trap. A trough. Nigga. A trough. Well, use that. Nigga. A vat. Nigga, you know what a this goddamn vat is. This ain't word of the conversation, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? That's a three-letter word. <laughs> yeah, I thought yeah. my computer was done, but yeah. it, it's That shit started working. Fine. I was like, Shh, I was about to go it home. It started flat. So then she don't learn her lesson. She put that little mix, mix drink. Yeah, I had a little drink. <laughs> and it spilled. But it didn't spill on my computer. It spilled by it. And, uh, and I said, I pour this. She said, I'm putting this motherfucker up. I ain't gonna. I did. I put it up. She was using her phone to get stories. All right, and another thing. Yeah, shit. yeah that was funny. Then it just became a bag session after we couldn't get no more guests. Speedy's like, fuck it, let's get the microphones. Well, I like when you guys do that. Though. That's oh, just funny. The funniest one is when RT said, well, man had the camouflage pants yeah. on. He said, who? G.I. Jerome? <laughs> 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 nah, RT was killing he on the low. He got mad, though. That yeah. dude got mad. He yeah, turned around he and was like, like he was like, I was in Vietnam. I was like, you was the last nigga. You <laughs> still smoking the Vietnam version of Cools walking through here. <laughs> so RT said a dude looked like he tasted all the soul. Oh, yeah, the big dude. <laughs> he was, that dude was walking. For me, as a comic, because we don't get a chance to really go up as much because we're always doing the radio show. Yeah. So to keep your comedy muscle and your yeah. creativity brain, I just grabbed a mic and start clowning. And yeah. Shit just start popping out. It was lovely. And we was killing the motherfucker. Oh, yeah, dude, with the... Like- uh, with the, the gold macrame shirt on. <laughs> what what y'all say about me? I'm like, nigga, your knockouts have expired. Come on out here. Not you, sir. <laughs> nigga, I can not. No. It ain't going to hurt. Can't. It ain't going to hurt. I know you can nudge guy. this shit out of me. That's about it. <laughs> Speaking of. What? So yesterday, you know, as a, in this, but you know how it is. Yeah. I take gigs. I, I don't turn down shit, but my collar. Right. And my friend of mine called me who was on the uh, Foxhole tour when we did uh, mm-hmm. Blame It. He was a bass player. So he said, man, it's, it's my mama 80. Oh, birthday. damn. <laughs> <sighs> what you gonna charge me? I said, man, just give me what you got, man. Get Sunday, love offer. <laughs> I can miss a couple games. Yeah. It was like, just be there two, do 15 minutes, you out. Yeah. So then I get there, and it was a whole. It, I thought I was at a civil rights meeting <laughs> for, for uh, geriatrics. It was the oldest people in the world. Was at the, now, she was 80, her husband was 85. He had wow. two hip replacements. Wow. All her friends were in their 80s. Mm-hmm. So I show up, and the first thing this lady walked in, she said, now, who are you? I said, I'm the, <laughs> I'm the comedian. She said, well, you don't tell no dirty shit. You don't cuss, and you don't do none of that shit, and we're going to have a good time, okay? She said, she, <laughs> she, 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 she cussed at me. I said, okay. And so I don't know what I'm going to do. So I just had some fun and worked the uh-huh. audience. And I said, they were doing playback for her. I said, uh, so we're going to be showing some uh, younger pictures of, her name was uh, Pam. 
I said, we're going to be showing uh, pictures of Pam. We don't actually have no photos or no real or anything, but we did some sketch drawings <laughs> that Picasso did when she was little. Yeah. So I did a whole bunch of that shit, and people laughed. But uh, it, the beautiful thing was they had been married 57 years. Hey, you okay. think you're going to make it that long, Speedy? Speedy ain't got enough time. Oh. Ooh. 57 years? He, yeah, he will be in the He'll be Methuselah. Yeah, you will be in your hundreds. I'm not living you, nigga. That's no, you're not. So anyway, so they, they have been together 57 years. They met at uh, Manual Arts parents. High School. Damn. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was just, but he was 85, she, which when I got, when I started driving, I was like, 85, eight. Hey, she was 14. <laughs> Yeah, but, but you know that's back in yeah, the day. Back when they used to do that, like yeah. oh, I see you right there. And I did say, I said, "Wow, this is beautiful." She has seen horse and buggy and cell phone all in one life. That's hilarious. But you know, I want to get to eighty or eighty yeah. ish, and she was fly. Like her nails was done, mm-hmm. and she was trying to get me to read. She couldn't read. I said, "I don't have my glasses either." So let me. <laughs> She's like, he blind like me. Yeah, <laughs> yellow young, young nigga sit there. <laughs> Can't see. But shout out to them. I had a great time with them. That was my weekend. Was Pam, did you get some? <laughs> No, I did not. Damn it, right, Pam. Moving on. Hey, man. No, no, no. We're not uh, moving on from shit, Pam. <laughs> uh, when, when we find a dude came up, uh, one of the uh, one of the fans oh, of the show came up oh, like, uh, yeah. flag football oh, got yeah. fired yet? Yeah. 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 He did. Yeah, he did. That's a petition that. going around right now. <laughs> Y'all started fire this, flag man. football. Pam, yes, you huh. didn't get that? No, I was busy. What's no, the you reasoning, wasn't. No, Pam? you wasn't, Pam. You it, wasn't busy on See, Sunday. she don't have, well. <laughs> She's not gonna tell y'all. Let's move on. Uh, get the shit Saturday we were busy, were we not? Yeah. Who are you talking about? We? You talking about you and him or you and about us? All of us. What about Friday? Eh, that don't really count. But go ahead. We were oh, busy. Friday. You had to sleep over over here. This yeah. Friday I was here. On. Oh, get wait for okay. okay. So, so we come back to that. We'll so come back. What to about that. Sunday morning? Sunday afternoon. Um, oh, we got a football game. Sunday in the noon day. Yeah. Sunday then, in the midnight hour. No, I slept all day. Like literally, I could not. So move. he didn't say I'm coming through to get that. Actually, he did say that, but yeah. I didn't answer the phone. Fuck out of here. I was sleepy. I believe he did not. Let me see. Let me show us some missed calls. Show, show us me the voicemail. I don't want to see. A, he didn't call well, it, it, it didn't call on this phone. <laughs> Let me see the text. text. I, w- I did do it. I'm not lying. Yeah, yeah. But while I find the text, can we um, talk about Speedy standing us up Friday night? Hey, I knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Huh? Hey, you want to talk about everybody what else? I knew that shit was going to happen. That's why I was like, I'm not coming. We a family. We like a giant tree. He's quoting Dream Girl songs and shit. I was like, Speedy, everybody coming over. You spend the night. Let's go. I get over here, 11.15. Pam already <laughs> sleep. Pam already got her double wide. <laughs> I sure did. Air mattress. Pam <laughs> bought a queen size. <laughs> it double the, padded. It had the box spring and the top mattress. <laughs> I said, like, sure, get an air mattress like that. I was so tired. I didn't and know I why. And I said, uh, where's Speedy at? He ain't oh, answered the phone. Look, He's, Paul just called and put it on speaker. Hello? Hello? Hey, dog, I can't hear you. Speak up. I said, this nigga letting it go straight to voicemail. I, I said, I'm going I, home. The last I heard of Speedy on Friday night, <laughs> he called me up about how many tables we need. And go, okay, I'll see you in a little while. I'm on my way. <laughs> he said that to you? You didn't tell yeah. me that. Yeah, Speedy, I'm telling and you what so, happened. <laughs> um, Teeter, uh, I, told, I call up Teeter. I said, come on, Teeter. We're going to hang out at the studio all night and blah, blah, blah. And Teeter was like, well, let's do a midnight show. I said, okay, cool. I called Speedy. Speedy's in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you exactly. Speedy's in. Spe- then, 11.15, I'm calling Speedy. Uh, Speedy going to be here on time for the, this nigga just starts, goes straight to voicemail, <laughs> not answering texts. I like started to call Michelle, yeah. but I was like, nah, I bet not. I'm going to tell you what happened. Speedy did like a little kid, got to the front door with his bag. Like, hey, where you going? I'm going to go hang out with my friends. <laughs> Uh, you ain't cleaned up our room. Where you going? <laughs> exactly. He got to put on restriction that night. Yep. Uh, can I call? No, you can't call nobody. Because <laughs> that's how I know. The next day I was like, Speedy, what happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. That's all he said to us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you want to tell us what happened? You got to put on wife restriction. So what'd you do this weekend? Uh, you, oh, oh, you know what? I have to admit, if it was me, uh, my husband would not be going either. I like, agree. Yeah, I, I a, agree. But it was a that bad ain't plan. even no necessary. It was a bad plan. Nigga, you just need to get up at 5 a.m. and bring your ass over here. <laughs> mm-hmm. You ain't going nowhere. It was a bad homework. plan from I jump. Agree. I'm like, speaking no, how the only was, married was, dude going to be the one but saying we're going to spend you, the night. You know what you should have done? You should have in, invited Michelle to I come did. with you. Like, I ain't sleeping on no air mattress. I got a bed. I did. That's what I always do. Oh, okay. I'll never do it. I'm finna go. No, I go. We going, and then they get. Then the plans get sh- 
Like, you know, they shoot the... <laughs> cool! Yeah. My plan be in the air, floating away. Pow! <laughs> Fuck your plan. That's what I did. I want to get some new shoes. Pull! Bam! Fuck your shoes. <laughs> I'm going to go hang with the fellas. Pull! Bam! Fuck your hanging with the fellas. That's my life. <laughs> so, and then I break up in little pieces and I kind of dissipate in the air. That makes me not want to get married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like shit ain't nothing fun. Nah, no. Pull! Like, no. Fuck your fun. All your fun exactly. shit. Pull! Pow! Fuck well, your hopes and dreams. Pam. Go ahead. You got to have a nigga that claim you first before. Shut up. Whoa. Get married. Right, do you guys have, I guess you don't because you would have showed us the pictures. Y'all have pictures of yourself together on Facebook? Yes. No, 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 I don't do that. What the fuck? You I'm get dick pics? Why you don't put yourself on Facebook? I'm, I'm not putting no relationship. I learned my lesson. Put no, no you did it the hard way. You Wait, learned the hard way. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm happened? never doing that you again. You don't put that what shit happened? on Facebook? Because people get in your business. They be waiting to hate. They get waiting to hate. And, and, and hidden. I remember one of, the one that you guys met that they were um, hitting him up. And, shit. you know, it's just it's yeah. just too you much. Might as well go on a reality show if you're going to put your, your yeah, relationship. Yeah, I, like, I mean, But everybody. Like, well, I mean, I, I thought like, just I'm like, yo, this. I'm not claiming But there's pictures of you and him together, though, on your Not on Facebook. Look in my, I have pictures, but it's not see. going up. No, they secure. She put a double, <laughs> triple lock on them. She on. forgot the password on her own picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do that anymore. Sorry. I used to do that. Like, oh, you know, no. Mm -mm. I learned my lesson. What'd you do uh, after you left us, uh, Portis? I had a session had a here. Session. Portis had to work. Um, mm -hmm. With um, an American Idol singer oh, okay. named um, Joshua Ledette. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't. Brilliant singer. Very could. I, very, I don't I don't know what season he was on but I don't because yeah. I don't watch I it but he was brilliant he actually <laughs> came and rented the studio so that he can Skype a birthday message to someone wow like like hey happy birthday and leave nah he, he sang a song oh somebody dope. paid him yeah to Skype okay yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it was Poetry dope. made some money. You charge him hourly rate. Yep, sure. You're like, you be here five minutes, you be here 55 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, know, that's I right. went to a birthday party at F. Gary Gray's house, and then they was like, oh, we going to come down and sing happy birthday. And Johnny Mac was like, uh, no, we're not. I don't sing happy birthday to dude. Yeah. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Charles, happy Charles. birthday. Charles. <laughs> sing happy birthday Nah, he dude. sang a, um, uh, one of his songs, and oh, it was okay. great. Yeah. And to the camera? <clears throat> Into the, they sat there and they could see the music. They could see each other. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. They had it. He had his own laptop. Oh. They just needed a, a space to do it. He just charged for so space how, and Wi Fi, huh? Yep. You exactly. could have went to the library and did it for free. You're like, come on over to Moore's <laughs> Meeting. That's right. Four fifty five, please. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I only take from, cash. I don't. But he take. had a crew of look like you know big time managers and shit. I'm like, okay, cool. Was they white, see white my folks? space. White yep. Folks? Oh, you hand yeah, out yeah. cards. Huh? Hand out cards. Yeah, they were like, "We love your place, okay." Yeah. And they were like, "We're uh, glad to know it's here." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. okay." <laughs> In other words, but we're glad gonna to... have him on the show. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, That's yeah, beautiful. he's gonna come by the show. Um, brother, is it a brother? Brother from yeah. Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what season. I, I stopped I watching even... American Idol once yeah. the voice came. It was after like Fantasia. I want to say like seven or eight. One of them. Oh, it was a long season. time yeah. ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's a young I mean, dude. He's, he's a young dude, but it was a few years ago. Twenties. Yeah. Yeah. What season they on now? Ain't this the last season? This is the last season. Every one. year they say this is the last season. I mean, no, but, for, no, for sure. This and is then it. they put a twist on it and go, this is the last season, but. You know, right. yeah. Last season for Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. they add, they add yeah. me on there. It's some stupid shit like that. Yeah. But the voice, I think, is a little bit better. Mm. Only thing of the difference is they haven't made a superstar yet like uh, yeah. like Idol has. That's the only well, the first I think dude, it's a better But concept. the first dude uh, uh, starts with a J J uh, J A V. I R E something. from the voice. Yeah, the first guy that won, he, he had already super. had a record deal, oh. mm. and it did. He had one song that was pretty cool, mm -hmm. but it didn't do well, and, and he went and did the voice. So that's all he talked right. about. It's like that was my second chance, and the song, you know, his but second. A lot of the dudes on the voice. I mean, a lot of the people on the voice disappear. Are like, it's like their second chance. Yeah, like but, but we never, see, you never see him. Never get him. Like, like, like the, you know Fantasia, you know. Yeah. Uh, Ke Kelly Clarkson and yeah. whoever else. You but know I, what I'm you saying? Know, Ruben Starter. Yes, yeah, it's been a lot. Yeah, it's hard to make a you know a a, a a superstar out of a show that's based off of another show. That's a machine. Yeah, it's a, you know America's Got Talent. They ain't. But what they figured out is well, that well, they go to Vegas and make their money. Those people. Oh, they get a yeah, Vegas like contract. Yeah, like that ventri 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 ventriloquist. <laughs> yeah, when the he say it again. <laughs> ventriloquist. The Vatican. <laughs> <laughs> the Vatican's a motherfucker. No, he, you know, he's in Vegas making millions. 
Yeah, but millions but I fans. think no, millions. He's million. been there for years. But Who I is think, this, Pam? The ventriloquist on. Uh, <laughs> oh, you took I your know, time. I, 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 I really she said, slow down like a speed bump. Her lips have been. Um, from uh, America's Got Talent, like they go usually go to Vegas and make their money. Well, like but you know what? That those shows are really ripping those artists. Oh yeah, I was about to get there. It's it's a machine, and they figured out. We don't give a fuck if you make it, because all we worried about is, is our season. Yep. Long as we do well in our season, and when they put them uh, songs on iTunes and yeah. they get really well mm-hmm. and they make all that money, mm-hmm. then they move on to the next. I no, they they actually get fifty percent of yep. any money any. that they make for the on next tour, year. Merchandise, at least the next calendar year. Online, no, they it's it's longer than that. Oh, is it? It's yes. like seven it's- years. Well, I know like for, uh, for record for the, contracts on that. I know for the last comic standing. A lot of them artists the have to get attorneys to get them out, out of, of those it. contracts. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's yeah. bad. Your yeah. boy is involved in uh, who we talk about all the time, the uh, record label guy. Uh, Who's the record? Um, uh, what's it? Why, the little, we, little short dude never, that bought in uh, uh, Whitney Houston. What's his name? Oh, uh, Clive, Clive Davis. Davis. So Clive is involved with them. That's why yeah, they that's always true. bring him at the end, and they mm-hmm. those deals are through Clive. What you that's mean, the voice? Yeah. No, no, American, no, Idol. Uh, American, American Idol. American Idol. They, he might get oh, yeah, like yeah, first yeah. right yeah. of yeah. the yeah. refusal. Yeah, because yeah, they threw his record. Yeah, that's through his record. Yeah. Like him yeah. and Simon Cowell had a cool mm-hmm. little deal. And and these motherfuckers be getting raked across the coal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, I had one guy, and uh, he came to do Foxhole, and he had said that they try to, re- like, soon as the show is over, mm-hmm. like, you can't do shit until yeah. they do the show, do the tour. Yeah. Then you have about four months before... Uh, uh, American Idol start up again and you're totally forgotten he Absolutely. said they try to do your album within that three months it's got to mm-hmm. get done Damn. you got to get it done get a video out and try to get your name out yeah. because once American Idol start the next people one, they yeah. ain't looking at these motherfuckers yep. no more yep. so you know it's, it's it's a hell of a thing but it's the record business. Kelly Clarkson the only white person I remember from American Idol well, no the country singer uh, Carrie Underwood yeah. Is, yeah, Carrie oh, she well. now she oh, okay. made money yeah, yeah. yeah. Carrie, and Carrie. it's so weird the country artists always make more money than say the R&B country got it. didn't country um, has a Jennifer beat. Hudson come from but she didn't yeah. win she was she didn't fourth win. Second place. she was fourth it, thank oh, good she did exactly I mean, she, <laughs> yeah. but that didn't but they still claim her though they claim her like she won a fucking Oscar so that's why they still claim her so hey I love it. It's a fucking great show, but I'm not going to watch it anymore. I'm watching The Voice. Yeah, I, d- I do like The Voice. It's way more entertaining to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's the all what? new Roll Show. No, just, We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. Hit us up Shout at 323 293 Smokers Lounge? Do you motherfuckers hear me talking? <laughs> God damn. It's the guys. 323 293 I don't want to be somebody. Pam didn't know who this was. I really did. Well, I knew it was what? Santa. What? I knew it was Prince. She I didn't know it was Prince. I didn't know what song it was. You've never heard this song? Never. Wow. I can't believe it. Somebody fuck? wanted to know the name of the song, Speedy. It's somebody, called, wanna, somebody. Yeah, somebody, somebody. What the fuck? And Tall Dude Prince will never fall off, FYI. Tall Dude? Yeah, somebody in this uh, chat room. You Prince bang on? Like, Uh-oh, never. you ain't never banged on nobody in the chat room, Pam. Never. No, that, you have to be a real... Ch- Prince fan, apparently somebody not. Uh, that was the album. If I'm not mistaken, had the ball on the front of it. It was it, it was it wasn't that good, but it was cool. Yeah, it was like. But I like right that after song. I think Musicology was the last Prince Great album, album I listened to. Mm-hmm, I well, too. the greatest hits was was the the fucking best because he had everything on there. Yeah, he actually, he's got a couple of them. Yeah. He's got the ultimate. What he, what he didn't have on there? I, there's a few songs that, that, that are pure nothing. Yeah, we don't eat on the air, baby girl. So will you. Okay, cool. Why are you uh, looking at them? Because it didn't fit. <laughs> I didn't get it. Um, Emancipation. Emancipation, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that album was good. It was good. It was good. Had uh, 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 White Mansion, which was about his big giant, big giant white mansion at the top of the hill. I remember I went to one uh, concert of Prince. He was at Glam Slam, and Glam he Slam. did <laughs> not do any. Yeah. Of his classics, he does and I was time. so mad that I was, yeah. I, I was pretty much through. He, he went through that phase like he a did, lot of artists yeah. does do, and he wouldn't do it. But I saw him at the Pantages, and at, now when I, we go to the concert, 
So uh, Jay gets some uh, tickets for his sister to go watch him. So Prince is on time for everything, and he you can't get no free tickets from him. He's always on time. He does his thing. So we, we get there. Get no free That's t- true. No, he don't give out free Jerome tickets. Be like, you don't gotta buy. Because he like, figure, especially me. if you're a celebrity, his thing is like, if you're a celebrity, you got the money. Buy yeah. yeah, buy the fucking tickets. Yeah. So anyway, like so that. we're in the audience, great seats. Pantages is a great theater, and the dude it's eight o'clock. Mm-hmm. It's eight ten. It's eight fifteen. Prince ain't come out. So my man walk out, he's got walk, hey man, you know, Prince is a little under the weather. He's wondering if he could do the concert tomorrow. <laughs> nigga said, fuck that. Bring the little nigga with the heels on out here. <laughs> you fuck about him being sick. So my man's like, y'all serious? Y'all gonna make this dude perform and he don't feel well? And everybody's like, yes. Wow. Literally, yes. You heard the big ass yes. So he goes back. Five <laughs> minutes later, Prince come out and destroyed. Destroy that motherfucker. But then in the middle of his thing, he went, so y'all was not going to let me get no rest, huh? Everybody like, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sing, nigga. He, but he sang everything. But well, I know he went through yeah. that phase he, where he was, you, you saw him on that phase, but now yeah. he's back to it. I yeah. saw him uh, uh, right when I had surgery last year. so funny. I was literally three days out of surgery, and I got free tickets. And um, they were like, Pam, you want these? I was like, yeah. So I Is got that my when he was at the forum? No, he was at those. the uh, <laughs> uh, Palladium. $25 tickets. Yeah, I went he was to that. Yeah. 25, 25 days. days. I saw that about three times. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I. Uh, so what songs did he sing? I didn't go. No, he's talking about that. But uh, how did you? Slam. I'm saying the one. Oh, they were. I I don't New even. There, there were songs that I've never heard of. That's why I was so pissed. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Purple Rain. But <laughs> one of the nicest treats of my career is they had a press day at the El Rey. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget if the theater, it was right? the Musicology album. I think it was the Musicology album. Mm-hmm. He had a press day. We didn't even know if Prince was going to be there, but they invited a bunch of people from the radio station to come and. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. So they're talking about this and that and the tour. And Prince comes out and he's talking. And all of a sudden he gives us a full-fledged show like at 10 in the morning. It was what? such a treat. Yes. Dang. I love And I love that. the Musicology album. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Me too. I thought that was I was like, funky. 10 o'clock in the morning. I was like, music. And that's when he gave that away uh, at the yeah. door for free. When you, your, bought, when a you bought a ticket. Oh, really? So yeah. everybody in that costume, everywhere he went, got that free album. The, yep. So you buy platinum. a ticket, yeah, it did. Mm-hmm. It, did. It, it did, it did, it really mm-hmm. did. What he do is go platinum. Yeah. But Prince, a great, great talent. Yes, mm-hmm. he is. I, I just want to kick it with him one time. Pam. Well, I have. No, a few of my <laughs> friends have <laughs> actually dropper. kicked it with him. Like they I say, he's many cool. Times. He's really. They down say earth. he allegedly walks around with a water bottle full of Patron. <laughs> wow. <laughs> which, is, which may not be true because when we went to his house. They had a party, but he didn't allow liquor because yeah, Jehovah Witness. Yeah, he does not drink. So I never, if, I never mm, saw him. If somebody did that. He used to. <laughs> somebody lying. Everybody got a vice. Yeah, what's your vice? You know what mine is. <laughs> oh, weed. Uh, uh, yeah. what, what's your vice, Kente? Liquor? Uh, a little bit of Tito's vodka. A little bit of a lot. <laughs> do, do you know when to say stop or you just no no the next day I'd be like nigga I should have stopped <laughs> <laughs> because, because the way I drink it like vodka and water uh-huh. it don't really hit me till about 1.30 and I'd be like god dog I drink and way by that time you lovely you, yeah, it, you yeah, hey good. buddy and next day I'd be like nigga I'm too old for this shit <laughs> don't What's your no I know I cannot drink too yeah. well I don't really think I have next advice time. Uh, uh, pills, men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a bag full of vices. <laughs> but I, I need those. You know that. Exactly. But that's called just, a vice. <laughs> it's not a vice though, because sometimes would you I get say tired would you of... say young men? Flags. Hilarious. <laughs> young guys, I think that is your yeah, vice because you can't guys. shake them. You like a little yeah, twenty-eight year old motherfucker. I wish somebody might. Is that considered a vice? Because she she can't let it go. Like we keep telling her, you need What's an your older vice, guy. Food? <laughs> <laughs> Triple cheeseburgers. <laughs> and then Portia tried to have me. Why you laugh that hard? Because <laughs> oh, she, she held it in. She didn't even get a D on it. She said, fool. <laughs> she kind of She kind of sucked it in like, oh, my bad. <laughs> What's your vice, fool? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your vice, baby? Oh, she he laughed. Comedy. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your vice? Anyway, uh, I think it would be shopping. <laughs> okay, shoes. that's mine. Okay. That's my vice. Well, because okay. I like watches. You don't shop as much as Speedy. Oh, yes, I do. You Soon as Speedy get $5 in his pocket. He... No, not, no I, I won't do it like that. But I will go window shopping. I will go. I'll be back nah. for that. Like yeah, that. you be shopping. But, but my thing is is uh, tennis shoes, watches, 
and gadgets. Yeah, because we was up in Oakland when we did the shows at the, uh, in Pleasanton. They had an outlet three stops down. Speedy at the outlet yeah, every day. I had to go. <laughs> he went one I day. Just walk, I just walked through. Because if I walk through, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. But if I drive past and don't go in, I feel like, damn, I could at least went and saw what they had. <laughs> yeah, so I know. Because when I get some money, I'm going to go there if, if it's some shit I want. But if I already go look and I ain't seen nothing like, I won't be I won't be like, okay, I got to drive. Like, yeah, that's Camarillo. Not like a, that sound like a fiend. Yeah, I got it back. Mm-hmm. I got, when, I, when I was on tour, mm-hmm. I'll give you this. When we was on tour and we're in Houston. In Houston, they oh, had that gallery. The double, yeah. yeah. So I would wake up every morning. We were there for a week and a half. And just walk through the mall? Walk through the mall. And I go back to the Foot Locker like, okay, what else y'all got? He's like, my man, you was here yesterday. <laughs> I know. Just, let me see these in the 12. And, and that's just my gift. It's just, I can't I shake it. I did that too. I, I had to have, shopping is mine. Now that you bring that up. Do like, you, so are you the shoes. kind that buys a bunch of shit and you don't never. Uh, Poet is, you pack my bathroom. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, no I did. Okay, pack her Yo, you, you one of the ones she that had like twelve bags it? of tampons, yes. twelve bags of you pads. Shop for, huh? You shop for necessary shit. No, I everything. I love just makeup. in case. Makeup is my vice. Oh well, my god! What is god. tampon? Why are you buying tampon? No, I, I put mean, the makeup no, this on. Was, that was tampon? back then. This was some years did ago. Did you use tampon to put the makeup on? Uh, <laughs> no, I just like to it stock up. Absorb. It I like to stock up. You know, and I don't oh. ever like to go into it the store. My cabinet is very all cool. day. Mm-hmm. So, so you <laughs> just to pack products. her bathroom. Yeah, what do you mean products. pack it? Like she I was, was moving. moving. Oh, oh gotcha. You know, are you a hoarder? You no, I'm not a hoarder. Oh, a little, little bit. bit. You're a little low key hoarder if you got bit. twelve packs. My wife's a hoarder. She white. She definitely nigga. She white. So, <laughs> so is I that a white tendency? It's got to be because if you watch the show, maybe one or two black people on there. It's mostly white folks, and they got to have a house. You got to something about having a house. My mom is a hoarder. But she got two storage spaces. And they will not know. She's in there from 1964. No, this is how you know they're a hoarder. It'd be little things like yep. they'll have two, they'll have three three pins. Mm-hmm. And you go, okay, let's give two away. No, I don't want to do that. Now, why? Well, because see, this is the pin that I, I signed my and, autograph and really on upset. my first driver's like, license. So we yeah. went through this whole shit with Jonathan. When I when she lived by herself, he had a pile of toys. <laughs> a pile of toys. She didn't even play And with. I said, Michelle, he's not even fucking with these toys. Why not give them away? I don't want to. Because he might play with them. <laughs> I said, what about the shit on the bottom? He's not playing with that shit on the bottom. We can't even see what's on the bottom. But whatever it is, he can't play with it because it's a pile of shit on top of it. Mm. So I said, well, we move together. I'm giving all this shit away. So sure enough, she bring half there. I find a way to get rid of it. So now he's stockpiling toys again because oh, she buys him shit. So what I do, I take toys, I put them in the container, and I just move them to the garage. When he never says anything about them, I give them away. Mm. So I take them. I wait a week and I get them. Cause where do you take them to your other kids? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, where t- <laughs> hilarious. Where do you take See, them? See, this shit be funny because Portis be sneak dissing, <laughs> and this shit is hilarious to me. No, where she did sneak do you donate in. them to a shelter? Yes. yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And so when I tried to tell her that, I said, why not do that? So her son has the same. The other son has the same thing. So he has clothes under his bed. Uh-oh. So so I bought a bag to, you know, I said, and I said one day I was like, hey, man, let's go through your to- your clothes. Whatever you're not wearing, let's give them away. Oh, well, you know, I, I, I might still wear it. I, said, I, said, I held up some pants. I said, well, unless you're going to shrink, <laughs> you're never going to get into these. Right. Let's give these away. Yeah. yeah. And he literally went, uh, I don't want to do it now. Can I do it later? And he, he, never, he pushed it all to the back and never get away. Wow. Straight up hoarder. Mm. Wow. And hoarders will not yeah. release that shit. It's like, an, it means addiction. something to yeah. them. Like, he has a football helmet from when he was 12 mm-hmm. in the garage. I said, let's just throw this shit away. He ain't going to play football no more. And your head is way bigger than it is. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, can we just keep it? I said, for what? No, that's the kind of you stuff gotta you just got to get rid of without, like yeah. you do. Like, yeah. They don't miss it. Because mm-hmm. every, like, six months, I clean out my closet stuff. So I don't, I don't, I don't like clutter. Pam, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to your. I, bet you. I haven't been to your house in a while, but you, my your room place has a lot of shit. <laughs> I mean, it's not hoarders. Yeah, you do have a lot of shit, but I have room. a lot of shoes, a lot of clothes. Now, why do you keep buying shoes? Like, I have a lot of tennis shoes, but I actually, you see, I actually wear my shit. Wearing shit. Oh, I actually put I, them up in rotation. I feel like one day I'm going to wear them and need them for something. But you're not. I'm, I know. I'm, this know. make me. I'm cleaning my closet out this week. Okay, here's make I, you want to clean out your. This is how you know if you're hoarder. Do you have shoes that still have tags on them? Yes. Oh yeah, you're a hoarder. I never, just bought I never three haven't more. worn. I just bought three more pairs. Never been out to buy. Last week, huh? 
I don't know anymore. I'm like, it's are like, we gonna get to the photos? Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, just- uh, <laughs> shit, this was intriguing. Really. <laughs> yeah, I know. People are in their in their cubicle going, and I'm she's a black and she yeah. hoards. Yeah. So do you buy? Wait, do you buy the Press shoes the to match the outfit oh. or the outfit to match the shoes? You buy the shoes first. Shoes the- first. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, uh, they're not shoes; they're sandals. <laughs> it is out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couple stories. Um, a church gives a pizza delivery girl a thousand dollar tip. Nice. Amen. Hey, what's wrong with that? Amen. <laughs> An Ohio church congregation ordered a pizza from Domino's during a service, then tipped the driver more than a thousand dollars that tithes. had been collected for tithes and offerings. For the offering. Okay. <gasps> well, I don't have a problem with that. No, 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 no. They gave it to an accident. It was an accident. Like. No, oh. they, no, they gave it to the him driver promise. bought the five ninety nine pizza. One pizza. Yeah. It, that's Whoa. what it says. One pizza in uh Picker was it Picker Pickerington okay. in Ohio. In Picker nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they said the Reverend Steve Markey brought her on stage and asked um, her what's the biggest tip she had ever received, and she said about ten dollars. Hey. Then the pastor told her the teaching at church had been about generosity. Yep. So the congregation had taken up an offering for the driver. She broke into tears. Oh, and she oh ended I did a special up, offering just for her. Oh, that's beautiful. She goes, I was broke. Now I'm not. Well, that was four. Did she go to the mall? Well, that yeah. is Ohio. <laughs> Rent is like $300 there. Oh, so okay. She what you trying to say about Ohio? It's hey, true. I mean, I've dated yeah. a dude from, two dudes from Ohio, and they de- pay nothing for their rent. Oh, you like, did pay the rent? Look here. Um, <laughs> you're like, that's all. That's burrito money. <laughs> wow, most, I used to be a limo driver, and the most I ever got as a tip was 150 but a dude was an asshole. Yeah. You, it was a white dude. Limo driver, you're supposed to get more than that. Well, it depends well, well, what the he, final cost is. Yeah, that's true. Well, really, it, it's not even that because suppose, like, my boy ran the company. Oh, so when they when they charge you, they tell you the pip, tip is already included. Oh, okay. Which it's not. I don't get that. But if you got, if the person I'm driving gives me something, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. So he gave me 150 but he ran me through the ringer. He ran me. He made me fucking work, man. That dude, he was one of the worst customers ever. And I didn't think he was going to tip me. What was the most interesting uh experience you had as a limo driver do people you had a do it in the back yeah. I, I had this one guy called me up called and said hey he need a limo he's going to take his he had an argument mm-hmm. so he it, i get him in the car we're talking he's like yeah i had an argument i gotta try to fix this i said okay cool we go pick her up so where you want to go he said just ride to the beach we'll, we'll figure it out so i'm riding i got the partition up and get to the light and the car's rocking i'm like these niggas is fucking in the because because i because if they Did fucking you go the, zzz- no, I just, <laughs> I just turned my music now. It was like, uh, yeah. I, I made sure I drove real slow. They was fucking. They was getting hit. This bitch was Was like, you getting turned on? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> he turned it down, was yeah. jacking off. While One of the driving. worst people I ever had in my limo. Hmm. It's going to be fucked up. But hey, Tony Cornelius. Oh, Aww. really, Don Song? Nigga, yeah. that motherfucker used the phone drink, nigga, and did not tip me. Wow. Oh, wow. And I, me and Tony cool. I never mentioned that to him, but Tony <laughs> never. <laughs> He's and, like, you look familiar. And then he had, a, he had like five bitches in the back of the mm-hmm. car, and he was taking pictures. Well, his was Polaroid, so he had wow. left the Polaroid He's in the like, back of the car. <laughs> and that one, and then the girls who, uh, there was these sisters. Get in the limo, and it did was. Did you a, just taste yourself? Yeah, he did. <laughs> what? He had too much spit in what? his mouth. Well, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. It was this, this this lady who had friends. And you know how y'all are about your friends. It's your birthday. She goes out for her birthday. Well, she's paying for everything. I don't know why, but mm. the girl's paying to live in Compton. So I'm like, whatever. So we ride, and she said, stop the motherfucking car. Uh-uh. So she wrote up. I was like, what's wrong? Stop doing these bitches and stole my money. And so one of the girls had stole the money that she was paying for the limo for. She said, she cussing, yo, raggedy motherfuckers, I'm paying for y'all on my motherfucking birthday. This one I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to get out the motherfucking car. And when I get back in, my money better be back in my motherfucking But did she shit. have it in a bowl? I mean. She, nah, it, she it probably out. faked it. It was probably no, no, a it, fake it move like so it. they didn't have to pay you. No, no, no. It fell out her. She, it actually fell out her her uh, her purse. Uh-huh. Mm. And one of the girls picked it up and had it in it. So she got out they the car. They all in the same limo. They got out. She, they all, she, she get out the car. She walk around for a minute 
And she got back in, and the money was back in her purse. <laughs> she said, now, Speedy, let's go. <laughs> and went out and had a good time. And the bitch stole her fucking money. Her friends. Stole it and put it back. She's like, this bitch finna beat But you should ass. tip, though. You should tip yeah. limo drivers. I know sometimes we won't. There's, I mean, that's customary. Yeah. Yeah, but we, you know how we do. We black folks. They're like, uh, this is $5. Yeah, mm. this, this, that left rear tire was underinflated. So. Like when somebody delivered a pizza, what's the most you ever get? I give them about $3. See? How much are you supposed to give them? Yeah, $5 if, if pizza. Your, if know. your piece that's is $12. That's, yeah, that's, that's 15 that's more than eighteen percent. More than three dollars. That's what is that? No, that's one 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 twenty is ten percent. So three sixty is twenty percent. So that's eighteen percent. She yeah. get them in. Y'all wrong. And then last night I ordered a pizza. I said, "Fuck it, I'm going to pick it up." <laughs> See, <'cause she laughs> Save me five dollars. Yeah, because yeah, that delivery fee like five six yeah. dollars now. Now, how did this story get on the internet? What made it so big? Just because she got a thousand. She got a thousand dollars. Or she posted that. Yeah, you know they do that on that. What's that? That Reddit.com. Stuff like that. They always post like the big old I tips they I get. I get these stories from all over, but no, I get that. I mean, what made it become like? Oh, she we should pick this out because it was got, a church. There's yeah. a lot of stories and... that get out, and I have no reason. I, I don't understand why, but <laughs> I thought this was interesting. Yeah, damn, Speedy. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I was just trying to find the or- origins of. Uh, I don't know, Speedy. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> um, more than 600,000 votes came in for Harriet Tubman to be on oh, yeah. the new $20 mm-hmm. bill. The 20, yeah, yeah. I think she should be. I, I yeah. think so, too. I think that would be dope. Yeah. Have, they got to have a woman. But right? I heard with her face, Who? Raven Simone was against it. Oh. Oh, well, now I'm for it. <laughs> Why does Raven so do You know, and then someone made a really good point. Did, have you guys seen that picture of Raven Simone in the post office? She had on these shorts and these um, big yeah. Two top tube socks up to her knees yeah, and a mop a... uh braids in her hair. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw it. Looking uh-huh. raggedier than a roach. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and she wanna talk about <laughs> not hiring somebody. Raggedy. Where you get that old roach. term from? You look raggedier than a roach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit, that is country to yeah, the T. So she got a lot of I think she doesn't I think just like uh Miss Dash, they say things because they're in that lane. And it's keeping them in there. I lane. think Stacey Dash is stupid. That too. Yeah, she, she is. Yeah. She is. But, is but saying it because you know I'm the white, pe- I'm the white, white pe- black men are loving her. Yeah. And I think for Raven, she's getting the attention she probably wanted to get outside of her being gay because that's the attention she was yeah. getting. And then after, that died down. And yeah. She's like, I'm gonna be a black Republican now. Yeah. So now, so now you're flipping it now. Now everybody hates you, and you walk outside with these weird ass. Cause she was, you know, she's supposed to be the next Oprah. At least that's how they had her. Ooh, Ooh, who ever what, thought that? What? That's how they that had was it. Ne- she, she was, was in the position. In that, she was never in that. No, lane. she was the number one person on on Disney. That was oh, her, their yeah. number one yeah. act. Yeah, well, true. Yeah, her show was yeah. killing. Uh huh. Like, yeah, she was like thirty seven. Yeah. still playing that. Story. And they were like, if this thing could keep going, and you, she can franchise it and move on, and uh, maybe have a spinoff from the show, but she would be executive producer. Mm-hmm. She could have that kind of. Yeah, because she was to, like she did that movie with uh, Martin Lawrence, that back you know where they went off to yeah, college. And yeah. That didn't really work. Yeah, though. Well, she, yeah, well, they, they said, there were four finalists. Uh, one was Eleanor Roosevelt, Rosa Parks, and I Wilma Mankiller. Who? Wilma, who? Wilma Mankiller, the first female chief of the Cherokee say, Nation. That had to be a Native American. I don't know if you're going to put end killer on there. Man killer. Probably white man yeah. killer. <laughs> yeah, it really was. It's the full name. Because <laughs> you're from the I Cherokee tribe <laughs> nation. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen um, her picture. I like Native Americans. Tubman was announced. I like Rosa uh, Parks born in Harry Tubman. No, I think, no. Uh, yes. No way. Yes way. No. Yes. Hell hmm. no, I'm gonna yeah. say. No. I like Rosa Parks. No. Let me tell you, you like Rosa Parks, but Harriet Tubman put in way more work, risked Ooh, her life, right saved. Uh, she went back and got slaves. Yeah, she yeah. went back. Go back. I have went once. I'd be like, tell yeah, them to come no. this way. And Rosa Parks, <laughs> as they say, was a token for the civil yeah, rights. Okay. That they okay. used her face because the girl that. This actually had it <laughs> that happened to was supposed to be dark, uh, she was hard on pregnant, a, t- a pregnant teen. Oh. So they mm-hmm. didn't want her to represent their movement because she was so, a pregnant So you actually got this right. So you're saying this never happened to Rosa Parks? No, it, it did happen to her, but they're saying the second it's probably to happened to a, a lot, lot of, of black yeah. people. Yeah, I got you. Got so, you. But they just used the face of Rosa Parks 
uh, to represent that. Call part in, of the somebody movement. call in and clarify that because I don't want to just. Wow, well, that's I don't that's know. Uh, history books. I never heard of nobody else that had happened. To no. I know it did. They always made people sit in the back of the bus. I know that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there was, was probably some people. She wasn't the only one to say, "I'm not gonna get up." She was tired. <laughs> Feed her. Tired. Yeah. She's like Pam Wait, at the end of. I'm <laughs> that's what she just what? I'm on the side. But Harriet this, Tubman. She said that we. we Harriet still, Tubman said. put in work. Yes, she did. So you can't even so, compare. So let me ask you this: two. Are they just doing it for a season, or her face will be no, the twenty dollars bill? Well, they're bid. saying by the year twenty twenty, which is the hundredth anniversary of uh, the woman's right to vote, they want to replace uh, Jackson with a woman's picture, and so they had people vote and. And Harriet Tubman got the most now, votes. Why did they pick Jackson? Is because he wasn't a good president. He wasn't shit. Wasn't, Just a twenty. Why Andrew Jackson? Cause, I, don't I mean, he could have picked any. Could have picked the ten dollar bill or the five. Or Lincoln's on the five, right? Yeah. And George is George on, the on the one. one. On Andrew's the on the dub. And it's called because they got Lincoln on the penny, and it's brown and it's copper, and it faces the. It's like oh, yeah, the he, way they have the coin set up. All the other coins have turned their direction. back yeah. on Lincoln, and he's the brown penny. <laughs> if you happen to put, <laughs> oh my yeah. If God. you look, if you yeah. look at, it, put wow. all the silver coins together, okay, and then put the penny together, and Lincoln's facing the other so way. So you saying they shot Lincoln in the head? What the Because <laughs> he got shot in the head. They got shot so they all they boost him. All the other coins. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's, no. <laughs> Nah. Next time, look at the coins. I will see. not. <laughs> I throw away pennies. I don't fuck with pennies. Just um, I hate pennies. I don't know why. Money is money. I, I feel like pennies. when you throw away a penny, you throwing away money. Period. You throwing so away I just one think one when you of a dollar, man. throw away money, you don't appreciate. I don't fuck it. with pennies. Let's put it that way. Okay, that's when why you, don't you ain't got no money. Fuck with a penny, you don't fuck with one one hundredth of a dollar plate. <laughs> 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 I just don't fuck with pennies. I got a whole. Buckle, uh, like when I come home, I put a my change. A buckle of pennies. A lot of, a lot. Of, I, I, I have a bowl with change in it. Oh, so yeah. my stepson, I have to lock my door now. Yeah, because he used to go in there, the take the nigga. My, I love my quarters. Me too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is about quarters, Me nigga. Too. I, I see a dime and walk past a dime. Nigga, I pick up anything silver, but a quarter. Yeah. I don't fuck with nickels or, or pennies. I don't fuck with. It. Anyway, this nigga. So let's get her on there. I want her on there. Who? Who? Oh, I thought you were going to tell I was going to say, ooh, Rosa, who you want to get on the show? Okay. Wilma Mankiller? Wilma Mankiller. I want her to be on the 20. I would have voted I ain't see her picture. I got to see her picture. (laughs) What she look like? A man killer? Uh, I don't know what the, uh, a Cherokee? I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> have a picture of Looking at Pam, you a check? You do have Indian nose. You do have. A- I have Indian, Indian hair. Um, Y'all do. A man uh, was arrested for allegedly calling nine one one to complain that his girlfriend would not <laughs> give him any ass. <laughs> that is an emergency. <laughs> it depends if they were, were they in the snow. How I you mean, make that call. Hey, nine one one can I help you. Uh, this bitch won't fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I was going to call on your ass. Sir, this is... What's uh, your emergency? I'm hard and she won't suck it. I just took this blue pill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this motherfucker got me And hungry. it won't go it down. It won't go down. <laughs> down. You, have you thumped it? Yeah, I thumped it. <laughs> Shit, I Take no a cold baby. shower. Yeah. So a cold shower doesn't even work? I don't know. When you... I don't know. Only, only time I went to the coach. Don't sit up here. It was with my cousins. And uh, act like y'all niggas. Never, no, I haven't ain't to, never oh, no. took the no, blue I, pill. I took the blue pill, but I ain't taking a cold shower to be like, okay. Let me see if it go down. Yeah, only time Can't I took the cold chance. shower was oh. in Denver when my cousin didn't pay his damn uh, gas bill and didn't tell me. And I stayed with him for one night. And I was like, nigga, I'm staying at the hotel. <laughs> nah. That uh, shit hurts. Why mm-hmm. would you call 911, though? Well, they yeah, said, according, uh, <laughs> they said when the officers, the officers actually they arrived. No. <laughs> like, excuse me, man, we talking about At his outside. house while he was outside drinking. Oh. oh okay. An alcoholic <laughs> Let me beverage. guess, happened in Florida. Where did this <laughs> In Florida. All right, Texas. Now, out of Midwest, you know, the Midwest, they be bored. It's, it happened in uh, North Carolina. Thank you. Oh, shit. Hmm. Right by Florida. They yep. say he had been drinking yeah. all day and was looking forward to having sex with his girlfriend. <laughs> he called a hell of a time. You know we fucking tonight when you get over here. <laughs> what time you coming? Willie Earl, I'm not fucking you tonight. <laughs> yeah, you is. Willie you Earl. <laughs> you gonna fuck me. <laughs> Willie Earl, I'm not gonna fuck you I done went through this 18-pack of Bud Light. Somebody, you fucking me. I took I'm two fucking you <laughs> tonight. <laughs> exactly. I took two pills, bitch. I'm gonna fuck you and everybody in the- <laughs> And so he said he, the girlfriend declined, and uh, the guy the went off, 
and he called 911 to deal with the issue. The responding officer said that he yelled obscenities at the house. <laughs> at the <laughs> house? Fuck this house! No, he said, <laughs> "Fuck this phone." And I quote, "Fuck that bitch." <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to, but she won't. <laughs> <laughs> they said he was arrested for public drunkenness, but not charged oh, with s- misusing the 911 what? system. What? Really? Why not? Should have been. The, yeah, he should have been. Well, yeah. no, no, not necessarily because he did no. go to jail. So it did oh. serve a purpose. <laughs> it was like, eh. Yeah, but that's what you get charged it with. It was an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was like, call him if you want to. You see still if, ain't getting this book. See if the 911 dispatcher will fuck you because I ain't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Sad bitch. This bitch won't fuck me. Hey, what you look like? Is this Willie Earl? Yes, it is Willie Earl, and the bitch won't fuck me. What's you wearing, 911 or? <laughs> this is how you know you ain't getting no pussy. He when they come out with, with the scuba dive outfit on or a uh, full one piece. Oh, yeah. The onesie. Yeah, you like, nigga, it ain't my The flannel one that'd be yeah. combustible. But well, they come out with that midriff, I'm fucking you tonight. It's kind of hard to resist with them. I just mm. hold you down. And, mm. Damn. That you like, like t-shirts? That sounds like rape. Huh? Yeah, exactly. like, yeah. t-shirt. I like t-shirts, no underwear. Yeah, uh, just under, to me, oh, under- my God. I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> Underwear is overrated to me. For you? No, for the girl. I think, oh, I, th- I think that's overrated. <laughs> you um, I thought, oh, you thought I said I, I thought didn't. you were, said I, I wear <laughs> midriff. <laughs> no, I, I do wear midriff. <laughs> With no underwear. Okay. 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 See, I didn't even want to know that. <laughs> Y'all are stupid. I hate my imagination right now. God damn it. I can't get that out of my head now. But say, hey, bitch. Because, <laughs> well, for women, I think wearing lingerie, that shit's overrated. Just I put agree. on, Put on I a white it. beater. <laughs> this nigga's crying. This nigga's stupid as fuck. Well, but I, okay, what do you wear, nigga? <laughs> A white beater and like, some drawers. No, I don't do that. The bitch come over. I got. A, I got. This, I got about five shirts. You got a that, midriff with no drawers <laughs> on. Yeah. Oh, they come right, yeah. they go right to my waist. Look at that horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it, but it hide, it hide all my my fluffy. It let, it let my ducky hang out. So my fluffy's hid, but my ducky's oh out. Oh my god! Can we move on? Because I'm suddenly feeling a bit nauseous. It can't be a loose white beat. No, no, I don't like white beat. That's just t-shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> what y'all should do? Oh no! I know. Why is niggas stupid? Okay, so one more story. Right, okay, because yeah, go. let's get off that. Because I'm, shit. I'm really getting sick. <laughs> You know what? I don't need that from you. I don't need that from you. Come to the goddamn door with your... You got two socks on? No. Nah. <laughs> oh, your feet out? He wears ankle socks. The feet out? <laughs> and you know what? That's rather presumptuous of you to answer the door like that. Because I already talked to you, and you already know what it is when you get here. So when uh, you come in, I'm already the duck duck is showing. The duck duck. The duck duck is showing. Mm. Duck, you already duck. Know, it ain't no mm. what we doing, bitch. I called you. Like a we, turtle head poking out. Oh, uh, let's not go <laughs> there. <laughs> turtle head. <laughs> okay, next story. Final story. Oh shit, my head hurt. <laughs> a fake cop gets arrested by a real cop. <laughs> you think? <laughs> His siren didn't go. A off. Florida man posing Florida. as a law enforcement officer was arrested when he attempted to pull over a real <laughs> deputy. Ooh, uh, oh, he must have been off work. Uh, jo- yeah, he probably was in an yeah. unmarked car. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Joshua Lindman, Lin- Lindman, he, he's white. whatever. Yeah. yeah. 24 reportedly encountered the deputy <laughs> in an unmarked vehicle while driving on Interstate 110 in Pensacola. Oh, Florida. shit. Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Has anybody ever been to Pensacola? That's where uh, Roy Jones Jr. from. That's yeah. the only reason I know the name of that city. Man, I remember I was on tour and we stopped in Pensacola. Pensacola, Did all you? but five people show <laughs> <laughs> like, Well, all right. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. That is, uh, that is. Yes, yeah, backwards, backwards out there. Definitely. Yes. Authorities said the guy had his truck fashioned with red and white flashing lights. Damn. And the officer saw the emergency lights and he pulled over to the side to let him go by. <laughs> and the nigga pulled up behind him. He pulled, he pulled up behind I'm him. I'm here for you, Pimp. Yeah. And he identified uh, with, uh, and the other cop asked him for identification. 
But he could, he wouldn't. And the officer uh, said that the guy uh, <laughs> suspected of conducting traffic stops on other unsuspecting drivers across county lines but into Alabama. What well, What do you get out of that being a fake cop? I mean, do power. you like do you like oh, pull yeah. him over and be like, okay, and you give me fifty dollars, I'll let you go. I don't think it was that. I just think he just like pulling people over and he's like, okay, don't do it anymore, buddy. You come down here, I'm gonna fucking you rest you. Okay, get out. Probably here. take shit. Yeah. They can probably yeah. rob take him that way. Get some ass. Yeah. So so he gets ready. He said, "Where y'all? I don't think where y'all yeah. at." You know, right. I pulled you over. You know, I pulled you over. <laughs> <laughs> because if it's in a you small to town, no, all the to deputies know each other. Right. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Pensacola, Pensacola is yeah. probably seven deputies. And that yeah. ain't y'all. That's <laughs> Willie Earl. <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Earl. The <laughs> <laughs> bitch wouldn't fuck me, so I'm pulling y'all over. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gonna fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, See, and that's uh, that's the it, I've, I've right. always wished if I did get pulled over that it was no, 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 a no, real no. cop. I'm hoping it wasn't a real cop, but hey. <laughs> My boy used to have, uh, up in Oakland, he had the little fake siren, and he'd put it on. I was like, nigga, don't do that shit with me in the car. Oh, he yeah, pulled he people Where did he oh, get he that, did, like yeah. a garage sale? But it, it wasn't like the one that's been, it was just the, the red light, but you can't tell. Well, you can like, get him on the visor. Yeah. You have him for your visor. Yeah, that's what he had. Yeah. And they, he was like, let's pull somebody over. I was like, no, nigga, that's not funny. No, I'm not doing that with you. Mm-hmm. As risky as yeah. it is being a cop. Yeah. Right. You get shot over some bullshit. Right. Nigga, yeah, I'm not really a cop. Well, you are now, nigga. That's really Willie a bullet dead. in your ass. <laughs> Hilarious. Will Earl. So we ready for it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. Can we come on some lyrics? It's time. Oh. 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 We had, we had. Word of the day. We can't. Oh, Hey, hey. Word of the day. We can't. I like that. That is so gay. Oh, my God. Yeah, he has to shimmy. Yeah. That's the only way I can get it out. No. I mean, no pun intended. Then don't do it. Just let them do it. Word of the day. Because you be shimmying it and show the That was funny when RT was doing it. He was like, Word oh, I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> All right, can't tell you what you got. Word of the day on this Monday. Damn, Stupid speedy shit, bro. ass. <laughs> Midriff shirts, you fucker. <laughs> the word of the day is incorrigible. <clears throat> oh. Like that. I act okay. like you know what the fuck that is. I do is. know what no, that is. Incorrigible. Pam's using college words every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Incorrigible. I N C O R R I G I B L E. Incorrigible. Incorrigible. Yes. What does it mean? It means not able to be corrected or reformed. <laughs> Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the same word. In- incorrigible. Incorrigible. Okay, go ahead. If you have an incorrigible, damn near 18 year old, Speedy, send that nigga to the army. Mm. Incorrigible. Okay. That was a PSA okay. for you too. <sighs> incorrigible. My shopping habits are beginning to be incorrigible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real. Bored. Mm. <laughs> 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 Barely incorrigible. made it by. Incorrigible. I, incorrigible. I have very I can't little yeah. patience for people who are incorrigible. Yeah. Okay, incorrigible. incorrigible. And what does it mean again? Not able to be corrected or reformed. Okay. Poet is very incorrigible about the things she knows about radio. Nope. No. 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 You like that? No, no, boo. No, no I no, think I go. know no, that was what perfect. I'm doing. <laughs> no, no, you can't be changed. You say you can't no, be changed. Oh, that's not true. No. Things are ever changing in this business. I would be. You I wouldn't have an internet radio well, you studio. I, okay, I did a wrong. Wait one. a minute. Let me just correct you. <laughs> if I was incorrigible, it was a joke. Um, in radio, I would not have advanced to internet radio. I would still be trying to get a job in the dinosaur <laughs> terrestrial radio. It's incorrigible for you to come to the door with a damn midriff on <laughs> exactly. ever again in life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be shutting Speedy down. <laughs> you got public enemy, shut him down. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Oh. <laughs> you <took> the plug. <laughs> and that has been Word of the Day with, with Kente. Kente. And uh, Speedy, you got a song for us? Can you give me an incorrigible minute? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Well, you cuss me out. You always seem to find a way. I'm going to tell your mom on you. No, only you. because <laughs> you do I, other I can't people be like that. Only. You can't say, when you oh, do people I'm like wrong. that, you get done. It's karma. It's the it's way karma. of life. <laughs> when you boss people, you get bossed. What's the song called? Shut, oh, Shut Around? 
Yeah, public enemy. Shut no, down. Public. That's what I do to Speedy uh-huh. when he be talking <laughs> hey, incorrigible she, bullshit. Hey, hey Taysom, so she shut the shit out of him down. <laughs> <laughs> she was which, hilarious. Which time? <laughs> we, all, we all had to shut him down like at the, some the point. The Carson Courier. <laughs> oh. hey, wait, wait. Speedy's like, no, listen. No, he no, says one hundred and fifty dot per. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't even want to go into that. No, what happened now? You, you, about the, you was about to tell us about courier. placing an ad in the Carson, Carson Courier, <laughs> and you said it was 150. Before you can yeah. even get 150 out your Public mouth, you I was hun. like, do you even know how many readers they have, nigga, and you talking about giving them <laughs> She started pulling out shit. She, you see this magazine, right? This is Time Magazine. I got a free edit in Time Magazine. <laughs> it's called a barter system, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm glad I could be the brunt of y'all. I'm brunt. glad you can do sp- too, Jokes. Speedy. You are a good sport. Yeah, Man, I hate being a good sport, especially <laughs> on you, because you seem to take shit to the other level. You but bring just, it on yourself. That's all I got. You brought say. that shit upon yourself. Well, you're lucky I ain't got a whip. Cause I... That ain't no oh, goddamn shut up. Can't man. find it. <laughs> so that's what so you, you went get. all the way there. Don't tell me what the fuck you play. When I play, it's just it's the rollout show right here. You almost said it's a speak show, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rollout radio show right here at the Morris Media Live Studios. Monday, ladies, if you're feeling bad about yourself, and you want to wear my midriff, <laughs> oh, okay. my ducky oh, hanging out, <laughs> give me a call. Sing it like you mean. <gasps> oh. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see if you really going to mean it. Still, Leave me it's, come up. It's still up. You stopped it. <laughs> no, Nick, oh, you turned it down. It down. Oh. Maybe because I didn't want to hear you oh. sing. <laughs> you should have turned it up louder. Why you don't want to hear me sing? Can I sing this? <laughs> what you know about this? Go ahead. Let me see. Turn that up. Turn that up. Turn the fuck it up. I don't know. <laughs> Speedy never knows the lyrics. What the fuck? I know every lyric there's possibly. What? You can't even say lyric. Every lyric, do every lyric, you know? It is the all new rollout show right here at Morris Media. It's your boy, Speed Doggy Dog. I'm the poetess. Nikki Pam. Kente from the Yay! And we have a special guest in the house. Uh, as we mentioned, we were going to do a segment called Mind Your Business, which mind focuses your, business. on. Um, small business and entrepreneurs, and in the house we have Daniel Morgan. He hey, is hey. the founder of Morgan Bailey Coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, we are before. we are definitely coffee drinkers here. Well, me and Pam well, are. Yeah. all right. That's what I'm talking about. Get it organized, baby. Yeah. Let's do it. So, Get up on that mic. Yeah, tell us about oh. your coffee. Well, I was trying to use my claps, but it's not working. <laughs> trying to get what? Oh, it's down. Oh, it's down. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what are you looking at me for? <laughs> I'm boy. <laughs> Um, yeah, still down. Okay. Tell us how you got started and what piqued your interest in getting into the coffee business. There's so many brands out there and comp, you know, too many, too many brands. Could you pay attention to the show? Uh, uh, no, I'm doing it. I'm sending out a massive tweet for you. For you could have did that when you were in the do kitchen. It. <laughs> I was running late, you know what I mean? And y'all forgive me for last week. Please forgive me. No, it's all good. All right. So, so, uh, so the co- what makes your coffee better than uh, Starbucks? Starbucks, well, you know, they, they you know that's where everybody say, goes, or you know, they say don't say bad. Well, not better about stuff. You know what I mean? So you just let it, you know. Um, <laughs> my coffee is a single origin coffee, right? Um, we roast our coffees ninety percent green. Our carbon emission is of only ten percent. So it's healthier already. It's cleaner for the environment. Mm. Okay. I'm a very conscious eco type person. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like our our delivery trucks will now be uh, energy efficient. So wow. that's really cool. Yeah. You know, all the trucks, the buses and all this. Um, that's so funny. I'm kind of paranoid. Why? Because I roll my windows up on the freeway. Why? Because, because I don't know what the call is. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of thrown off. I don't know. I start smelling stuff. And I'm like, oh, Lord, let me turn that on and do the recirculating air inside the car. But anyway, oh. um, so it <laughs> roasts. It, it roasts. Uh, <laughs> The coffee roasts so then it gives you a more fruitier, a cleaner taste. Mm-hmm. You know how sometimes you drink coffee and it's really bitter, mm-hmm. kind of sour, kind of chalky, like you got something in your throat and, you, you know, you got to drink something to eat something afterwards? Mm-hmm. You don't have to do that with my coffee. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can well, drink it and go diff- kiss your wife in the face and she'll say, wow, that's a, that's a great kiss. Yeah, because coffee breath that's ain't it? no joke. Yeah, coffee, coffee, breath, yeah, is coffee breath is serious. Um, but how you many won't di- have that. You won't have that with my coffee. Uh, how many different roasts do you have? Oh, man. 
And well, I have 25 different coffees uh-huh. that are like super high-end coffees. Mm-hmm. Um, the roast is infinite. It's like a sky, a, what is it called? Um, a chef, and he makes a steak, mm-hmm. and he makes another steak and another, and they all taste good. You know what I mean? Like, you, you make a steak, you make a steak, mm-hmm. you make a steak, I make but a steak. But we all make it differently. Right, we all make it different. Uh-huh. So each coffee is kind of like its own little personality. Mm-hmm. You know, and you got to find how to make that personality come out of that coffee. Now, so what made you want to get into the coffee thing, being that, you, <clears throat> would you say you're a late start, or how, how do you make yourself competitive to where like somebody else wants to say, well, no, I'm, I'm going to go with this one because it's this, that, and the other, or it doesn't give me coffee breath. What, what, how'd you get to that point? Well, coffee for me. And this is it right here. This took a long, no, 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 that's tea. Oh, yeah. That's a whole nother, oh, so you that's make a whole nother monster. Tea so you make tea I make, as well. I make beverages. Okay. More of the coffee, tea, juice, water. You do like press juices or just Yeah, juices? everything. I do everything. I got a, I got a guy, he just uh, created, he's uh, 22. Uh-huh. He just created this lemonade, and it's an organic lemon that mm-hmm. we're growing, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. right, literally right here in California, and uh, it's called Life's Lemonade, mm. and I, I tasted it. It, it. It's really good. It looked like it looked like something like this, Piss. greenish yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm going to say that one. <laughs> but, uh, but it tastes really good. I was very surprised. Yeah, I was it's very surprised. It's just a regular lemonade or is it a fresh? So fruit? why should... Everything in the lemon. It's why everything I, and a little bit of something with the organic right. sugar. Oh, okay. And it's boom, man. It's just amazing. It's most amazing. Why should our fans buy your coffee? Here's your chance right. to pitch your tea Tell them, or, your or tea or coffee, juice. And your, your coffee is actually lemon. from Africa. Is that correct? All my coffee, most of my coffees, yeah, are from Africa. We're going to expand the brand now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring in the Jamaican Blue Mountains mm. and the uh, Hawaiian Konas and some other ones that people don't know about. I'm thinking of kind of changing it to become coffees from around the world, mm-hmm. mm. you know, and giving experience to everything. Because, a trivial question, anybody knows where coffee came from? The bean? Yeah, the bean. Cool. Actually, oh. the seed. <laughs> I just answered that. I said the bean. No, no, <laughs> He no. surprised himself. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did surprise himself. Let me, let me take that I back. I may have said it wrong. Yeah. Okay, my bad. The birthplace. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I was like, yeah, coffee bean. Where was he? <laughs> oh, Colombia. In the ground. Anybody? Africa. I said Colombia. That's true. It's Africa. You know the what, what uh, country? I'm going to go with uh, Ken- Ghana. Kenya. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to go with Zimbabwe. I got all those coffees, but the origin comes from Ethiopia. Ethiopia. That's why I chose Ethiopian coffee. Well, they do have that big bean forehead. They do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Wait, hold on. Do I look Ethiopian? Wait, hold on. My, my, oh, yeah. my forehead is a little bit big. You got that praying mentis forehead. Yeah, I got, I got this. Mentis? Uh, yeah, they do. What is a mentis? You know, you know. mantis? Yeah, him too. <laughs> Free mantis, mantis. No, but it's Ethiopia. Ethiopia oh, okay. is the birthplace of coffee. Wow. And so oh. I want to take people on experience, you know, from around. Literally... I could take you on a world tour just in the, in Africa mm-hmm. of all the coffees from the different countries. And you actually went there and bought it? Yeah, I actually wow. go there. And you oh, you go there? Oh, yeah, I actually it. go there twice. Yeah, I go once a year. This is the time for picking. This okay. is their summer. This is like... I don't think you would mention picking around brothers. You know, <laughs> be very careful. You don't, you don't like the word picking. Yeah. But go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, gather. We harvest, Let's put gather. There you go. We're harvesting. <laughs> harvesting. <laughs> harvesting. Yes. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We're harvesting coffee Sounds like right we get now. paid for harvesting. I don't feel like we get yeah. paid for picking. So we ship all the coffee in, you know, f- container loads and okay. get it here. And but you still haven't told me why I need to buy your coffee. You didn't well, ask him yet. The I exceptional piece, yeah. the exceptional piece... Is a smoother, richer, cleaner cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Not only that, but it's a, a what it, it's doing the right thing with the right people for the right reason. The right mm-hmm. reason is because we're a, a conscious company that works with nonprofits. Oh. We do a lot of um, co-op advertising for them. I work with the Concern Foundation for the Research for Cancer. I work with um, the. Uh, uh, Wiley Foundation, mm-hmm. LA Speech and Language Therapy Center for kids with special needs. So a lot of coffee companies kind of go away from that. But I'm an open company. I, I tell you where your money is going, why my price is what it is. And you your can look it up and check it. Your prices are actually pretty reasonable. Reasonable. And um, <coughs> we've, um, we did our research, Danielle and I, and you're actually in a lot of the grocery stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. They're expanding us. We started with four items. 
Now we have 13. Which, okay. which grocery Did you bring store? some? Like, Did you bring some today? You didn't come I think we brought some. What I the fuck? I do have do some. you sell it by the cup or do you sell it just... No, by the bag. Just by the bag. Okay. Uh, and I don't even do 12-ounce bags. I do 8-ounce bags. Oh, okay. Why I do 8-ounce bags is because that 8 ounces is going to last you about a week. Okay. So you can buy two and still have fresh coffee the second week. You buy a 12-ounce bag, it's going to be dry because you left it open or it's, uh, it's in a bag. It's long and still. Mm-hmm. Three days is all you've got on coffee. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that. After that, it's stale. It don't don't even matter. You're just drinking caffeine. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't tasting nothing. Well, wow. that's what people drink coffee Exactly. For. What I'm saying, you caffeine. want the flavor. You want the yeah, taste. The, flavor. the problem is the sugar and the creamer and all that. That's the problem. Coffee is a good, a good, good, good fruit. Mm. I have really? a question. Is, is there um, uh, a difference between saying like instant and, you know, it, a, ta- a difference in the taste of instant coffee in like with the beans and, you know, because I no, never really got the difference. Well, What's, the difference, the process to make that coffee mm-hmm. takes everything out of the beauty of the coffee. I figured. Mm. I figured. Which takes one? everything instant? out of the instant. beauty. Yeah, the instant. Instant. Uh-huh. All right. Takes everything out of the beauty now, now of the coffee. Now, you said you do water too? Yeah, we did, do water. Did you bring water? Yeah. You didn't no, bring water? No, she didn't ask me to bring water. I didn't fuck? know you do water. Because we're making, we, we, we're, we're setting up something. We're setting up something. Yeah, we we're. Poetry are setting up something. Yeah. We just haven't had time to talk. Yeah. Mm. So, I got to yeah. I gotta get all, all, all the, everybody the here on the right road. Right. Right. Now, how did you get involved? Your yeah, I was going to ask you, how long yeah. have you been, um, when did you start Morgan Bailey, and how long and did it take you? are you Morgan or Bailey? I am Morgan. <laughs> okay, go. Cool. <laughs> Would you put some Baileys in your coffee? No, 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 no. Yeah, I do put Baileys in my coffee. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm, making, I'm, making a, I'm making an MB creamer. That's what I'm doing. A little Baileys, a little Baileys. Megan Bailey. You know what I mean? Do you have Bailey. any Kush fa- flavored coffee? That's all gone. That's all gone. We, yeah, we didn't go we, to Columbia uh, for that. We do have the we do have the pound. We do have uh, another. <laughs> can't talk about that one. That one's in other places in green now, houses. For you, for someone like yourself who has coffee, and sneakers, kilo coffee. That's what we got over there. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. <laughs> the, the move for you guys would be to get into like a McDonald's oh. or something like that. Are well, you guys in that kind of process, or just or grocery that stores? Tough? That's probably really no, tough. Not, not McDonald's. Not, uh, I'm just saying. Uh, fast food is it has to be organic. It mm. have to be a high end cof- uh, place. Okay. There's one good one. It's called uh, Burgers and Beyond. Mm. Where's that? Grass fed uh, beef. Uh, they don't do fries. They like actually take physical potatoes. Better than what is it called? In and out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Better than that. Better than um, Five Guys. Five better than Five Guys. Five Guys. Oh, five, five Guys. Five guys. Five guys. Five. This guy, uh, his family um, owns a lot of. What is it called? Breakfast spots? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't really want to do that. And I won't say the name of it, but he don't really want to do that. He wants to do more organic, mm-hmm. higher end. You so know. your coffee is there? Yeah. It's right. got to be there. And it's got to be there yeah. on that concept. I can't do, you know, I wouldn't necessarily put Morgan Bailey coffee at McDonald's or Burger King or right. these kind of chains. So if I was to buy this, it's a different, it's cost? a different kind. No, I hear you. Store. You know, this one? Fuck them places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the views, but I would, but but, but he, but, we would take but, he yeah. but I see um, high end restaurants. Yeah, you yeah, know places like that. that. Yeah, we a do. Of, a lot yeah. of high end restaurants have some really nasty coffee. They, give they do dinner. because they're yeah. talking about the price. Yeah, they don't want to pay. Uh, but they so don't know if they give a good cup. So if I people will but buy two or three. But 7-Eleven yeah. does have some good coffee. 7-Eleven <laughs> runs. <laughs> That's a hell of a swing right there. <laughs> never, Fuck you never McDonald's. Say. You know, 7-Eleven is a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a swing right there. No, they, well, they have good coffee. I'm just saying, though, Mickey, Mickey D's been here for a minute. 7-Eleven. Mm, well, Mickey, Mickey D's, D's is their, not real food. Their, their, <laughs> well, I'm going I'm to hit you with something right, right quick. Mm-hmm. Turn this shit The same place who makes... Dunk, um, not Dunkin' Donuts. McDonald's also makes 7-Eleven. Oh, wow. Now. Okay. The same company. Shit, oh, yeah, owns them. <laughs> different <laughs> bean. Different bean. Okay, then. That's different coffee. same company. Okay. Different okay. Coffee. So, but, apparently, yeah, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> selection. Because don't, can, can some of the, the yeah, large, get sponsored some of the larger, uh, <laughs> coffee producers, don't they give, no. like, like, I heard Starbucks got, like, the B and C grade of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Instead of the A, but it's coming from like the same grower, but they like they go for the cheap route because they know they're right, selling right, more right, more right, mass right, quantity. Right, right. Well, you're not doing it. Well, you, you no, get an A. No. I, I, I have growers. Mm-hmm. Like I can make a phone call right now to a grower, 
and he would send me a sample of those beans. Mm -hmm. I will roast those beans and see if they're good. Mm. Every so time, it's not always good. Right. You know, so you, you just, they're like, we just got so much, we just got to get it. Just take it in, just get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Versus saying, well, it's not a good quality. Let's see what else we can do with it. So, you know, so when it's not a good, that, is that batch no good and he just got to give you another whole, another, or no, wait no, on it's another? It's just a defects. It's different okay. defects. All right. When you look at the coffee, it'll say, Yerga Chafe. That's the name. That's say the name what? of a type of coffee. Okay. Chefe? Or premium coffee in Ethiopia. Yerga Chafe. Y-R-G-A-C-H-E-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Ain't no need to spell yeah, it. Yeah, ain't no need to spell it. He's like, I'm writing shit down. Like, <laughs> Do that again. G what? G-W-T-5-A. He's not paying attention at R. He's like, all right, fuck it. Most people say Yergachov. There you go. Okay. go but Yergachof. in Ethiopia, it's Yergachafe. Yergachafe. Same thing, just like rah, 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 rah. Yeah. You know, that, Italian, that Spanish thing. Anyway, they have different grades. Grade <laughs> you're two, hilarious. You know that, Grade right? three. You're I'm trying to hilarious. be like you, brother. I'm you, trying to be hilarious. like you, brother. You're killing me over here. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> Wait. Um, Got that comedian thing. So, Daniel. <laughs> I feel like any minute you're going to get the fuck out of here. And do I be sure? <laughs> Take your beans and go. Daniel. Well, what? what you say? <laughs> what? Um, how did you become so well versed on coffee? Is it some course you had to take, or how do you know what a good bean yeah. is? Coffee Where did you college. Learn this? I took, I took, yeah, I did my coffee college. <laughs> I went to uh, everything I do, I do in research. Mm. I started this whole thing out of music, mm -hmm. and I was about about sixteen when I bought my grandmother her first bag of coffee. Mm -hmm. And in our house, coffee, you know, I'm from New Orleans. We got nine coffee companies in, in the city. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bitty tiny place. You got a million and a half people. Everybody's drinking coffee, community coffee, Louisiana coffee, CDM coffee, you know. And, um, you know, in the morning when they all got up, it was nine of us in the house. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Like Two bedroom house. shotgun. Mm. You know, we had one bathroom and one outhouse. Mm. All right. So we all had times. We had one shower, everything. Well, not even a shower, a bath. And uh, every morning they'd get up. Same way every morning, and then they'd brew the coffee on a percolator pot. And it was so great to see them all smiling because they forgot about law, the, the bills. You know, <laughs> you know, there's a percolator <laughs> in your pot. <laughs> That's it. Morgan Bailey in your cup. Morgan Bailey in your cup. You cup. No, it's funny because after the pot went off and they finished it, oh, it was. Yeah, I went it mad was, again. Dude, it was like a tornado came through the house. Betsy came again. The flood just came hey. again. Bitch, like, where's my cookie? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't wash the so. dishes? You were supposed to wash the, you were supposed to take the trash out. What happened to that? Morgan, I'm going to beat Bailey's ass if y'all don't come in here and clean up. <laughs> <laughs> and you went, Morgan and Bailey. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> no, Bailey actually comes from a friend of mine. His name is Anthony Bailey. Bill, I hope you're listening somewhere in this world. But uh, he's he's an, he's a singer, mm. and we met in uh, in New Orleans. Mm. And his godfather, I sang in his choir. Anthony Bailey, you might know him. Why does sound familiar? Uh, he's a part. He 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 was uh, longest Wait, winning. I, I know you're talking about the brother. No 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 no. no, 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 no. Does Anthony. he know Morgan? Yeah, he knows Morgan. Ooh. Yeah, Philip do too. <laughs> Philip knows Morgan. I know Morgan. I know Philip. <laughs> the guys, no. the people in the chat room want to know how much would a can like this cost. It's uh, right now in stores. It's about eight dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, that's it was eleven. It was eleven. But that's tea, though. This is the tea. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's do this. Coffee is seven dollars. Let's uh, let's do bad. this. Yeah. Um, it was eleven. Like we said to our listeners, that we want you to. What's your Twitter? What's your Twitter? My Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I thought Morgan you said, said, yeah, go ahead. Your Twitter? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you I don't know if we can talk about that right Twitter. now. <laughs> <laughs> he shook his head right at you and went. You don't yeah. have a Twitter? I do have a Twitter. I think it's MB Coffee Company. Oh, my at God. MB you don't even know your Twitter. Oh no, God. You're no. You know what? I am not profound bad. in this. Drink this. Not profound. I should have known that. That's going to be our word of the day tomorrow. Profound. I don't know. I don't know my Twitter is profound. I'm not profound in this. I actually just reset the Twitter. What about your Okay, because what we want to do is I can't um, reach you. for people who go to your website and order yeah. coffee, could yeah. we get a coupon code sure, or something sure. for them? Go, go, go there, right? <laughs> Where? And then, uh, oh, my okay, God, I'm afraid to drink your coffee. At <laughs> M here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, here you go, he got it now. Twitter, tweet at MB Coffee, coffee Company. That's it, MB Coffee Company. And put hashtag rollout, rollout. when you tweet him. 
<laughs> well, yeah, dude, Adam will start doing that with y'all. Can we really give cool. away a couple of bags of your coffee? Sure. Did you okay. bring some today? Let's give a case. Oh, so we're gonna give that. a case of six we'll coffee we'll bags. Don't do that shit. We'll split it up. Six, no, six bags. We'll, just, we'll discuss how many, but. Don't do that. For the first five people. Who tweet his company and hashtag rollout? We'll send you a bag of coffee. Absolutely, or Without tea, a doubt. whatever you prefer. Without a doubt. And then um, now, if the also, feds show up to your door because they see your coffee and they think it's something else, you deal with that. Six uh, coffee bags and six tea tins will that's be given today. So that's twelve this entries, this huh? Good. Yeah. Adding coconut cream. Did so you good. smell it? She said five oh, entries on the tea. You about to take? You about to go to Hawaii? Take this. <clears throat> we are going to Hawaii. Hawaii. As a matter of fact, fact Pam, yes. that's a great segue. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, please what are you stop? reaching for? Speedy, <laughs> read the shit. Join yeah. us in He's pulling the bag out of the box. He is pulling the bag out of the tea. Hey, this was focus on the That's what they did on your history. Could y'all stop talking over each other? Goodness. Now, Pam, read the goddamn Hawaii trip. <laughs> Join us at Over Hawaii 2016 and go to UPAC I Plan. It's from January 28th to February 2nd. And then, POTUS, what do they have to do? Click on. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle is in here cracking up. Um, click on Pro Bowl 2016. <laughs> Buy uh, Book Now. They have a price list for groups. Let me turn y'all mics off. They have a price list. Uh, for group rates, these niggas act like they don't ever get shit. Look at them fighting over a fucking box of tea when dude clearly said he's gonna send us some cases. We can't talk. Now. <laughs> can you read the thing? He did already. He I missed it up. it for you so you can smell it again. Please go That's to uh, upacipland.com. <laughs> you got like three weeks left because uh, you gotta have a it's full a payment in by November. So yeah, mm-hmm. the first, uh, the last, uh, the first Friday in, in November. November. Everything has to, be, you know, you have to have your deposit. So that's November six. Okay, and and Daniel, thank you for coming by. The website is what? So if people go to the website and order your coffee, what uh, can you make up a coupon code? Maybe roll out. So we can we can do roll out. We can okay. do that. Yeah, I can do that. Give me a few seconds to get okay. that done. You can find it at morganbaileycoffee.com. Morganbaileycoffee.com. M O R G A N B A I L E Y coffee c-o-f-f-e-e dot com come by and do the uh coupon code in the coupon box you'll put in rollout and then you get a uh a coupon okay for the supermarket or for online okay so go to a bonds or pavilions you can look at the location bar and select what uh location is closest to you now my teas are only in lazy acres mm. so it's not in bonds and pavilions Okay. But we have 13 really great items, including the uh, K-Cup, uh, little Keurig one-cup uh, machine uh, coffees, and we have the full eight-ounce pre-packaged coffees. All right. Well, we thank you for coming by and for our Mind Your Business segment. <laughs> we can well, we didn't mind, mind all our, our businesses. <laughs> it was in everybody's cup. Right. <laughs> Thank you, brother, for hanging out with us. We oh, appreciate, I appreciate it. it. We God. apologize for cup. the uh, <laughs> outburst. Outburst <laughs> and the, uh, from from him. We don't want to waste your quality time. <laughs> no, man, oh, my, my quality God. time is with you guys. I, I, I enjoy this. I really do. Uh, Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel.